Welcome to DrivenMavens.com and uh, today we're going to discuss the art of blending markers. Uh, so let's go. Uh, blending markers is is a big uh, a, a bit of an enigma for some people because they always try to figure out what kind of colors uh, to sort of blend. Uh, what I've got here is just like my swatch, it's like my cheat sheet that I use to uh, sort of write down what are the different kind of combinations whether they're yellows and greens reds uh, blues and that sort of thing and trying to figure out what's going to be the core reflection line uh, what kind of colors I'm going to use and uh, that sort of thing so it's always good to kind of uh, write down notes uh, as you start to experiment in fact uh, experimentation is key for things to kind of stick in your head you kind of have to go through the pains of trying to figure some things out on your own so and once you do you know you, you find that it'll kind of stick a lot better so what we're gonna do <coughs> uh, excuse me I'm gonna go through one example and I'm going to do a red color and all I'm gonna do is just this is again similar to kind of the uh, form swatches that I'd created on Photoshop earlier uh, if you had seen one of the videos and I'll place another link so you know but uh, earlier I had done a a color swatch not a color swatch but a form swatch where you just kinda draw a very simple shape and then you just start to look at the curvature and then try to decide where what the uh, value distribution is going to be uh, for that particular hue so for this hue we're gonna pick uh, green I'm sorry red and we're gonna start off with some lighter tones and then start to form it with some more saturated red colors okay now I, I kind of work I have different different colors that I use I, I never seem to use the same uh, one all the time uh, so uh, you know, bear bear with me. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, one particular brand that is. I like Chart Pack. It's probably one of my favorites. Uh, I went ahead and got some Copics as well, just to check those out. But uh, for my for me, uh, the Chart Packs are my favorite. So I'm going to go from left to right, and we're going to quickly create these streaks. And I'm going to leave a little bit where that apex of that curvature is at the bottom. I'm just going to leave a little bit of white space in through there. And I'm going to now go back and hit it again. Now the idea is to, to make sure you sort of work quick with these markers because uh, this one is solvent based. It's not alcohol based. Uh, a little bit maybe toxic I guess. Uh, so you have to wait for that solvent to kind of come through and then blend them with your next color. Oh and uh, before I forget what I was using before was uh, pale flesh was the uh, color that I'd started off with and then I, I'm gonna go with peach now before this thing dries up I'm gonna have to try to pick up a little bit of the the color of that peach and I'm gonna try to blend that back in so right now I need to saturate it a little bit so that it starts to pick up a little bit of that color and start to blend them in. Now I might have to kind of go back and forth see now that I've added the peach again go through a second pass uh, it's still wet now I'm gonna go back and hit it with the pale flesh again so I can blend that through Same thing now for for the bottom where you're not going to see as much light so it's going to be darker so that's going to show the contour you can already kind of see the surface break up here and I'm going to just repeat that process we're going to speed up the video I'm just going about one and a half times so it's not that uh, not that quick so now I'm going to go with the core reflection which would be uh, life red now life red is a very rich saturated red color 
notice you can kind of see everything nicely blending right through because I'm still picking up the solvent and I'm just taking the lighter colors and I'm just sort of blending all those colors into each other. Now I'm going back with my pale flesh and I'm just doing the same thing and then I'm going to come back again hit it with the red the life red there we go come back in and start blending it this takes some practice I mean it looks really easy when you first uh, look at this but it really has a lot to do with you engaging yourself and just kind of working with it okay so uh, let's say that I'm, I'm coming back now with a uh, maroon color this is going to be the darkest part of your core you don't have to do this uh, this is really kind of an extreme case is if you've got like uh, let's just say for example along the horizon line you've got some plants or some shrubbery or something like that and they're all dark then this is what it's essentially picking up you can add a little bit of texture and that sort of thing too for your reflection I'm not doing that here we want to keep things simple it's always better to keep things simple so uh, you're able to kind of understand what it is that uh, I'm doing before you get to very complex ideas if, we get, if I introduce a lot of complex ideas then it, it gets a little difficult to kind of retain everything you know what I mean so if you're in <laughs> if you remember math class and you know the teacher kind of rushes through all the stuff and part of you doesn't want to be there I was okay with it I guess <laughs> but if you don't want to be there for any class I think you just don't tend to listen and uh, it's just hard to kind of comprehend everything that's being told to you take some concentration and and most of all not just the concentration it takes doing uh, so hopefully you know as you look at this I would encourage you to uh, take this video I mean this is really uh, key and some really good knowledge for you to take uh, these kind of examples and then start to practice them, uh, practice them immediately and, and that's why I'm, I'm kind of doing this I want to make sure that uh, it's easy to understand it's easy to comprehend and uh, it'll uh, and, and that it helps you it grows your understanding on the subject all right here uh, all I've got is just a cut line I'm just describing what that section is going to be to come back in with the color pencil this is all Prisma color pencil wax based pencils so it gives me a little bit of a highlight that's what you're going to get uh, when the sun picks up and by the way this is a little trick if you don't want to buy extenders you can see that my pencil is a little short I just used a, a Bic an old uh, Bic ballpoint uh, pen popped it out the pen when it was done and then I, I just stick the pencil on top forced it in there so it's kind of wedged in there I'm just going to freehand this one. Okay. That's looking pretty decent. Normally I would probably go in and, and take some gouache and uh, some permanent white. And I would add some hot spots, but we're just going to leave this thing alone. I don't want to get into too many things here, but all right so that's that's the example okay so hopefully that helped with that so now uh, once you start to get a little bit brave these are just some quick stuff that I'd done uh, previously uh, using markers these are all chart packs uh, I spent a little bit of time on the graph on the flame graphics there uh, but as you can see here you are I'm just trying to blend all these colors in and if you have brought if you happen to have bought the How to Draw Cars Now DVD set, which is an introduction to transportation design, 
uh, a lot of this stuff is explained. Uh, we take you through a full marker rendering, a process on how to shade, what kind of colors to use. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this lesson, and uh, we'll see you here next time. DrivenMavens.com. Have a good one.